How's it going, everybody? I'm back! As is Fresno, for his last and final day on this earthly realm. Then he goes back to hell where he belongs. So a couple weeks ago, I went back to Boston. I, I put Salem in the title because it's Halloween, but we were there for one day and I barely got any footage. <laughs> now, leading up to this flight, there was a little hurricane that might have threatened everything named Milton. Now you see, Milton was throwing a bit of a wrench in my plan because the day that we were meant to fly out, which I had purchased the tickets months ago, he decided to pull up the night before we left. So I was kind of freaking the f out. I was watching that monitor like a hawk. I was not gonna let some f***er named Milton mess up my trip. But we lucked out and managed to get to Boston. But first, we had to fly there of course, so here's some footage of us at the airport. We made it through the TSA. Yeah. Yeah. So we got, we got our meal, we got the Cheez-It white cheddar with the blue Gatorade. What, what do you got? Sausage, sausage, egg and cheese. Sausage, egg and cheese with that pink drink. And, and then it's a strawberry acai refresher. Oh, sorry, strawberry uh, ass refresher. And acai. then uh, ass refresher and then chips. Acai. Did you know that Tim and Paula is just one guy? <laughs> When we landed, my Aunt Chloe was there to pick us up, and as we were looking for her, I received a cryptic text on my phone that read, Look for the bat signal. Now, I wish I had footage for what transpired, but she had a bubble gun pointed out of her car, and we just looked for that and we found her. I, I have a photo of it, I'll put it right, right here. After that, uh, Chloe and Justin took us to a bar to play pool, and something interesting happened while we were there. I noticed this very clearly drunk old Bostonian looking at me, and she was talking to Chloe, and Chloe comes back to me and said, yo, that old woman, that old drunken lady, was saying to me, Wow, that guy's so hot. He looks just like my son. <laughs> now, I feel like in most contexts, those two statements would be contradictory, but I guess in the great state of Massachusetts, anything goes. But we go to bed, get some rest. Next morning, Julia and I go for a little walk. It's, it's like a birch, birch tree from like Minecraft. It's a birch tree from like Minecraft. You want to make a crafting table? So part of the reason we're here is to visit Robinson, who is in that one skibbity toilet video, that masterpiece of a video. And you know, he also made like thumbnails for me or whatever. And he moved up here for college instead of staying down with me, which honestly was a little fake of him. But we're going to see him today. So then, we hopped on the tee to find Robinson, the guy who has eluded me for months. Okay, so we're, we're on our way to Robinson. I don't, I don't see him yet, but he's here. Oh, I see him. I see him. <laughs> After we found Robinson sitting alone, like a loser, in the city of Boston, we went back to his dorm. Robinson. Where do you go to college parties? Well, Frank Ocean, Kaye, Julia, Robinson. You not? No. Hold on. MF Doom. Here we see. <laughs> what? Robin. What? Do you want to do that again? What? <laughs> Dude. No. No gag reflex. Okay. Okay, bro. We then had to leave Robinson to get our dinner reservation that we had made. And they charge you if you don't make it, so we had to run from train to train. It was quite anxiety inducing. Next day, Julia and I actually went to Salem, which was nice. Uh, a lot of people there for that early in the month. It was surprising. We are out here in Salem. Julia repping the merch. Can you can you turn your head? Yeah. That's the 
god, that's so real. However, a little issue arose. We are currently waiting at the tea station for Robinson. He got on the wrong train like a like a stupid idiot. What an idiot. So we have Julia the villager. <laughs> make make do the thing. <laughs> Louder. Meh. <laughs> yeah, no, Robinson was supposed to get there at five. He got on the wrong train and got there at six. So we were waiting at the train station for an hour. <laughs> what? What's that? That's a terrible thing to say about another human being. But we found him, explored the city of Salem a little bit longer. Now, when we went back to Chloe's place, there was something that had been plaguing me the entire time that I was there. Justin kept offering me a habanero pepper. Now, I'm not bad with spicy food, all right? I did the hot ones challenge a few years ago. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it felt like my tongue was splitting in half, but I did it. I don't think I was prepared for what I was about to go through. Hello, I'm here with habanero. Uh-uh. That's where all the seed is, yep. Doesn't matter. Have another. Mm. Isn't that what they're saying, though? Not bad, right? Not two. Oh! Mm. Oh! <laughs> no, they're one. Nope. <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> Not that bad, right? Talk to the camera. Ugh! <laughs> Just talk it through. How do you feel? It hurts. Robinson's like, I pay 60k mm -hmm. for school every year. And he's like, I eat you want more? Mm. Can you bore me, please? I got you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10. 10! <laughs> Champ. So, I'm at vomit. <laughs> but after that, we all went to this like haunted house called Hysteria at Connor Farms. Fucking terrifying, by the way. Uh, I got no footage of it because they were didn't let us have our phones out. But Julia had a panic attack, and Robinson danced to "Slut Me Out" by Annalie Chapa to help calm her nerves. <laughs> then the next day. Uh, was another day spent in Boston with Robinson. So we pick Robinson up from college. Uh, we go on the tee. We get some food. By the way, I tried that new chicken Big Mac thing. Not the best. Think I would have just preferred a Big Mac, but whatever. Uh, and then we decide, hey, why don't we go see Deadpool and Wolverine? Julia and I have seen that movie three or two times together. This was our third. I, don't know, I mean, it was a good movie. But as we're getting on the T station to go to the AMC theater, which I learned while we were watching the movie, was not in the greatest area, and Chloe actually made us Uber back to her place instead of taking the T. But when we get on that T, right before, we hear a man going, $13. I just need $13. And we're like, what? What's going on? But we get on the train, and this guy keeps ramping up. Yo, I just, yo, I just need $13. Come on, where's the fucking humanity? He had like a massive, I didn't know this, had a massive gash in his leg. I have a little recording of it. You can't hear much, but. Yeah, time for us and next up. That was terrifying. We hop off, experience the real life Gotham. I'm pretty sure there were people stumbling around. Like, I saw this man messing with a homeless woman, and as soon as we came up to him, he ran off. What? Yeah, I saw the movie. Well, we are leaving Robinson for the night. We just saw Deadpool and Wolverine again, which was. What are you doing? I bet you feel sad you don't have another ice cream to deep throat, don't you? 
Also here with Julia. Yeah. We're, we're leaving him alone in the city. I'm gonna touch you. <laughs> Next day, we flew back to this shithole. However, that's gonna be the end for today. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for a very special video. Everybody say bye-bye to Fresno. This is his last day on the mortal plane for this year. Uh, he's going back to hell where he belongs. Thank you, everybody. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Cut!